Okay, so what we're going to do in this video is kind of map out uh, a trade where we want to be using uh, trailing stops. Now, trailing stops are going to be used in different situations, different ways. So we're going to assume that we haven't entered into the market yet. If you're already in the market and you're trying to figure out how to attach a trailing stop to it, uh, you can click the link in the bottom left there of this video and it should take you to the video that uh, is going to be on OCO orders and how you can use OCO orders in order to trail your stops. Um, so this is going to be uh, strictly on how to uh, utilize uh, trailing stops using ATM strategies before you get into the market, which is probably going to be the better way. Uh, in order to do that, you're going to want to open up your chart trader and you can get to it. Just uh, put the menu there and uh, you look for your chart trader and it's going to open up a, a little window here. What we're going to do is uh, be focusing on the ATM strategies part of this so that when you, uh, let's just say, buy the market, it automatically attaches uh, stops and targets to your trade. So you'll notice that right now it says custom. Yours might say none, in which case all you want to do is set up a custom uh, ATM strategy and that's what's going to manage your trailing stop. So ATM is just your um, advanced uh, trade management. I always want to say auto trade management, but it's your advanced trade management. And uh, what this essentially does is when you click on edit there, it opens up, you know, what do you want your order size to be? So if you want, if you use a, a standard lot or if you use a, if you want a, you know, a standard and mini lot, depending on what you're used to there, uh, you put in your order quantity and then you can say you want it good until can canceled, which is probably what you're looking for. Uh, since we're going to be looking at trading uh, an Aussie CAD uh, Forex pair, we're going to be looking at this as in pips. And uh, the next thing that we want to say is, okay, where's our target going to be? And on this particular trade, if I'm looking at getting in, this is about 50 pips of a parity here. Um, and uh, I'm probably going to want to be looking at a 60 pip target. Um, and our stop loss on this is, let's just say, going to be half that uh, for a stop. And that will be of 30 pips. Now, that's not exactly correct if you're used to trading the XABCD patterns with us. Um, we'd be looking at doing something a little bit different here. I just want to keep these numbers a little bit simple um, so that when we get into the, the stop management, you can kind of see what we're looking at. So the stop strategy part is what's here, and it's just almost like clicking the custom um, for your ATM strategy. You're going to be clicking custom here as well. And this opens up what is going to automatically control your stops. Okay, so there's two different ways you can have your auto break even. So once you're up, let's just say halfway again. So halfway would be 60 pips. We're going to say 30 pips. Once you're up 30 pips, move my stop to break even. Okay, that's going to be the simplest way to do it. The plus here is probably going to be used if you're uh, scaling into the position and you want to add a certain amount. Um, you can do that as well, um, but you're probably for the most of you there going to be using just let's just say uh, once you're up 30 pips, uh, you're going to be moving this to break even. Now, if you don't want to use the auto break even, just make that zero. You're going to be looking at the auto trail. Now, this can get a little bit more complex. We're going to be looking at the one step. You can add multiple steps, but this is going to get it's going to get a little bit more confusing. So let's just keep it on one step and you'll understand what it is and then you can add different layers if you want to. So what we're going to do here is we're going to say that our stop distance, okay, from where um, our entry position is to where we want our stop to be, which in this case is 30 pips, we're going to keep that the same and we're going to say that our stop loss is going to be 30 pips. I'll tell you that, you know, and we'll kind of get into this a little bit later, but um, this can be changed. It doesn't have to be the same as what your initial stop is, but if you want it to make sense for, I guess, most of you who might be new here, uh, then this might be something that you could use. So then your profit trigger is going to be when does this auto uh, trail kick in, right? This is essentially what's saying, uh, at what point? So this is going to say if you're 0.1 pips in profit, then we're going to kick in the auto trail. Okay, now I'm going to make this just one pip in profit and it's going to update your stop loss because it's going to trail behind 30 pips. Every one pip or every 0.1, we're going to make it one. Every one pip that it moves up, it's going to readjust the stop 30 pips behind it. So that as we go up, you'll be able to see it 
um, you know, tick where it's automatically going to start to trail it. Um, you could have this set to let's just say 20 and what's going to happen is as soon as you're one pip in profit, your stop's going to jump up 20 pips or it's going to jump up to the point. It's going to jump up 10 pips. It's going to jump up to the point where it's 20 pips behind your entry point and then it's going to update every single pip. If you wanted to update every five pips, every like in increments or every 10 pips that you're, you're locked in, then you can set that to every 10 pips. And as soon as it jumps up 10 more pips and 10 more pips, it's going to move your stop up in intervals. Okay. So you can kind of get an idea of why you would want to be using those. Um, so we're going to leave this as one and our profit trigger is going to be one pip in profit. Actually, let's make this uh, five pips. So once we're up five pips and it's going to jump our stop up so that it's always 20 pips behind. So because we're five pips in profit, we're going to be uh, jumping up about 15 pips from our uh, wherever our stop is going to be. Okay. So I'm going to save this as a template and we're going to call this, um, depends on your naming scheme, we're going to have this as profit of five pips up we're going to trail by 20 pips okay, and we're just going to hit save. So that's going to be used if I press OK right here. OK, it's our stop strategy and I'm just going to press OK. Now what's going to happen is when I buy this thing on the market, once we drop down a little bit more, um, we're going to buy on the market and you're going to see orders get placed. What's going to happen is our first order, our entry order is going to be placed. And then we're going to see our stop and our targets put in there. It's all going to happen relatively quickly. And then once we start going up again, we're going to start um, seeing that uh, that auto trail kick in. All right. So let's go ahead and let's uh, buy the market here. Order filled. Okay. And let me just bring that in. See where our target would be and where our stop is. Okay, so now, um, you know, as soon as the, the market starts becoming something where this trade is profitable, we're going to start to see this auto trail. Okay, and it's going to slowly go up. So I'm just going to let this run and we'll, we'll kind of let this thing fast forward. Okay, so this thing's about to kick in. Okay, you can hear it and we just jumped up. So now every time we go up, I think we set to five pips. Um, every time we go up, maybe it was 10. Or was it one pip? We'll see. We'll find it. Um, <laughs> we're going to see it. Uh, we're going to see it auto trail as well. So I'm just going to leave this run and you'll see how it works out. Just take notice as, as we come backwards, um, we're actually not seeing our stop move backwards. The stop is kind of holding its ground. Um, and, and as we hopefully tick up, we'll, we'll start to see that continue. But um, just want to make mention that we're, we're not seeing our stop move backwards. It's just going to stay where it is. All right, so you can see how we actually moved past um, our entry point with our, our stop as things started to kick off. We had some news come out from the RBA, and obviously that triggered stuff kind of going the right way for us. So we're going to wrap up the video here. If you do have any questions, uh, let us know in the comments below. Um, otherwise, uh, feel free to check out the video that we'll post on uh, controlling stops with uh, OCO orders. And if you have any other suggestions or tips that you think might help out people, uh, go ahead and write those in as well. And uh, we definitely appreciate your feedback. All right, guys, take care. All the best. And we'll see you in the next video.